Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step guide of how you can get started in crypto. The types of exchanges that are available, the types of wallets that are available to you and by the end of this video you should be confident enough to make sure that you can transfer money and own your own cryptocurrency. Let's go! So step one, okay, you've got to do your research. Now, where did I start when I first got into crypto? I started exactly where you are right now, watching videos on YouTube. I'm going to give you some names of some people who are really cool, influential people in the crypto space that give you really good information around crypto and break it down really nicely. The first place that I would start if I was you guys just getting in would be people like BitBoy Crypto, that's, uh, that, he's probably one of the biggest channels on the internet. You've got Crypto Casey, she's really cool, breaks down lots of different uh, projects that are going on. You've got Altcoin Daily, that's really cool for altcoins, you know, does great analysis around different coins and, and the blockchain in general. And then you've got, uh, for a bit more lighter hearted stuff, you've got Crypto Banter. Um, those guys are out in South Africa, but again, any one of those guys or all of them, I would consume as much information as possible. You wanna research things like the different types of projects that you can get into. A project is just like a company, okay? The different spaces that fall within crypto. So you've got things like gaming, you've got things like banking, you've got things like um, uh, building, so i.e. internet, why you can build on top of things layer ones layer twos there's lots of different areas within the, the the blockchain space and the crypto space that you can be invested in so first and foremost before you go spending that money or, or transferring money anywhere take a step back watch deep dive into some get yourself some research deep dive into some youtube videos and find a space and an area that really interests you because this is important that you've got an interest in this you've got you know this is your life savings potentially millions of pounds you could be making in the future so it's important that you have an interest in the area that you're going to be investing your money okay so that's step one research is done okay once you've done your research step two is we need to open up an exchange now what is an exchange an exchange is a bit like a bank account all right it's a place where you're going to need to send your money to this exchange and when your money is there you'll then be able to buy any of the cryptocurrencies that you're interested in okay so um a little bit like if you guys have i don't know maybe had a betting account but uh in the past you know you send your money to a betting account and then you're able to press a button and bet on a horse a little bit similar like this now what are the exchanges that you want to be able to send your money to and 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 where you can trust okay the first i'm going to give you the first two biggest centralized exchanges these are exchanges that basically um you know they have licenses around the world um you know they're governed by certain governments the first one is the biggest and the most governed is what we call is a company called coinbase all right you may have heard of them you can literally pull out your mobile phone go to the app store and download coinbase and um literally you know five minutes later you can be sending your money to that exchange it's that simple okay the second biggest is a company that we call Binance. Now, Binance are fantastic. I really like Binance. They give you access to lots of different cryptocurrencies that maybe you can't get access to on Coinbase. However, they are not as governed as Coinbase, all right? They are probably one level below Coinbase. They don't have all of the regulations like Coinbase would have. But those two are your biggest centralized exchanges. Now, within crypto the reason why crypto was created is because the whole ethos was it wanted to be decentralized it wanted to be ungoverned by governments untouchable by governments so therefore we have an, uh, a number of decentralized exchanges okay these are exchanges where they're ungoverned there's no there's no government that can that can uh, come and help you all right if things go wrong i.e you know you lose your 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 passwords to get into this uh, your, your your exchange you won't be able to redeem your money all right, so these are a little bit more riskier. However, 
they are completely decentralized from any government um, and anyone telling you what you can and can't do all right so let me give you a few of these um, a few of these would be something like curve finance all right um, uniswap pancake swap now some of these have really funny names all right and when you're on their sites um, you know they, they they look a little bit uh, a little bit crazy but they're actually really cool places where you can transact I've been transacting uh, putting money through these these sort of um, uh, exchanges for a long time now. So that's number two. So number one, do your research. Number two, you're gonna need to open up an exchange, all right? Number three, very important, all right? Uh, you would have heard, or maybe you would have heard about a lot of things going wrong in the crypto in the last 18 months, a lot of companies going bankrupt, all right? And some of these companies were actually crypto exchanges, un unregulated crypto exchanges. All right. What happened was that it, they, they went bankrupt, but it also took down a lot of people where they had their money with these exchanges. It also meant that these guys couldn't get refunded. Now, there's a saying in crypto. We say, not your keys, not your crypto. All right. What do we mean by that? There is a way that you can control all of your cryptocurrency. When you purchase your cryptocurrency on the exchange, you then need to download it to your storage, i.e. your wallet, all right? This is your personalized wallet. There's two types of wallets that you can have. Very simple. One is what we call a hot wallet, and one is what we call, or hot, hot storage, and one is what we call cold storage. One, what this means is that one is online. So a hot wallet is what we call, um, you can literally go on Google and you can Google MetaMask, all right? You can set up your own wallet online. Very simple, uh, very secure, all right? Just make sure that you don't give your keys. And when we say keys, they give you a set number of passwords make sure you don't give them to anybody else or no one else can find them otherwise they can go into your wallet and take your crypto just like they could if you had a hard wallet with cash in it and your credit cards and you left it lying around some stranger might go in there pick it up take your credit cards out exactly the same with your cryptocurrency so don't leave your keys lying around where someone could find them all right Secondly, we have what we call cold stories. This is something completely offline, so no one can access it apart from yourself, all right? And um, I'm gonna put a link down below this video. The, the cold stories that I use is a storage called Ledger, all right? You can download it or, or you, can, you can go online, you can buy one, they'll send it through the post. And once you buy your crypto, you can then send your crypto to your wallet. Now your, your crypto is completely offline. No matter what happens, you've got your crypto in your back pocket or in your storage, wherever you choose to hide that. I put mine at a, a safe in the bank, all right? Because I don't want it anywhere near me, all right? So is that a safe We're in, in the bank, okay? And that keeps all of your crypto on there. So. Now guys, you've researched the market, you've got some good projects, some good companies that you want to invest into. You've opened up an exchange, all right? So um, a, a, an online exchange. You've sent your money to this exchange and, and you press some buttons, you then able to buy your crypto and in exchange for the money that you've sent to the online exchanges. Now you've got your cryptocurrency on the exchange, you do not want to leave it there. You now want to transfer it back to your either hot storage wallet or cold storage wallet, okay? Hot storage would be MetaMask, cold storage would be your Ledger account, or there are other ones out there as well, guys, okay? Do your research and choose the ones that you prefer, all right? So, there are your three steps. The fourth step, now you gotta Take your money out, out your bank account or send your money from your bank account and purchase your first cryptocurrency. Okay guys, that's how you get started in crypto. It's four easy steps. Just take them one by one. Do not rush, okay? There's no rush to purchase your first crypto. But if you just do each step that I've spoken about, within the next 45 minutes, you could have your own crypto on your storage wallet. Okay guys, now, if you're a believer, 
all right? If you're a believer, then we're going into the bull market over the next 12 months could be very, very exciting. So guys, if you've been sitting on the fence for a little while and you really believe that crypto is something for you, that you know it's, it's, it's something with a space that you wanna be in, then take these four steps seriously, do them step by step, go now, order your ledger wallet, you know, go on, open up an exchange and purchase your first crypto. It could be the best thing you've ever done. Could also be the worst though, guys, okay? This ain't financial advice. My name's Carl Hutchins. If you like this video, smack the like button, subscribe to the channel, I'm re releasing many, many more videos just like this and leave your comments below guys leave me let tell me your thoughts in the comments below let me know other videos that you would like me to help you with all right my name is Carl Hattins I'm out